Russians aren't getting vaccinated for COVID-19, so the Putin government is taking the vaccine to them. We've come to Dacha, or cottage country, outside of Moscow, along with the mobile vaccination clinic. Teams are visiting hundreds of small Russian communities to make it as easy as possible for everyone in this vast country to get vaccinated. Reluctantly, 79-year-old Luba Denisova rolled up her sleeve. Her reticence is pretty typical. She told us she thought COVID could be beaten with fresh air and good country living, but her son prodded her to get vaccinated. As Canada, the United States and many European nations either close in on or exceed having 50% of their populations vaccinated with at least one dose, Russia is lagging far behind. It's at closer to 10%. And the problem isn't a lack of vaccine, it's a lack of trust. With business at the clinic slow, we took a walk to see what was holding people back. Mom Oksana Butenko told us it's Russia's vaccine, Sputnik V, that she has doubts about. Nikolai Zalatiev told us he lived through the Second World War and has dealt with adversity his whole life and believes his immune system can handle COVID without a vaccine. The inevitable result of the vaccine resistance is that new cases are climbing once again, and so are deaths, said Alexei Kuprianov from Russia's Academy of Sciences. I believe that uh, as for now, we have about 500,000 extra deaths due to COVID. That is more than three times the official government death count, and it's despite all of the free pop-up clinics around Moscow that give people convenient access to vaccine. If only some more strict quarantine measures were applied, at least the damage was would be far less severe. But uh, unfortunately, nothing was done. Russia has been wide open for months. Just look at this jammed autograph signing event by movie stars at a Moscow toy store. Authorities shut the store down for a week in response, but it was too little too late. Even Moscow's mayor is now acknowledging the country's vaccination efforts are a failure. In a strikingly candid plea, Sergei Sabanyan implored Russians to change their behavior. Novaya Gazeta, one of Russia's few independent news sources, penned a powerful editorial placing the blame squarely on President Vladimir Putin's government. In a closed, censored, corrupt society, citizens do not expect anything good from the state, and the vaccine is no exception, it said. Putin's own behavior has been bizarre. Our vaccines are simple and as secure as a Kalashnikov assault rifle, he tried to assure Russians last week, and yet he refused to be photographed getting vaccinated, nor would he even say what vaccine he took. We watched the traffic at the mobile clinic for five hours. Just seven people in the village of more than 500 showed up, said Dr. Elena Kolmakova, a big disappointment. It's time for the truck and staff to move on to the next village, maybe better luck there. There are signs the Kremlin leadership is worried, though, in an acknowledgement of the direness of the situation, Senior officials are now suggesting they may have to make vaccinations here mandatory. Chris Brown, CBC News, outside of Moscow.